tell me a story about a student or a family that really uh, took advantage of what you have to offer, really got a lot out of, of what, you, what you do? I have to sift through many, many years of it. <laughs> we probably both do. I can think of one in particular at the moment, and it's quite relevant because it's my own daughter who uh -huh. is at the school at the moment. She started when she was three in the preschool. She's currently seven, so she's been here for a number of years. She, I guess you could say, has been part of Karambina community since the day she was born, thanks mm -hmm. to me. But with her being at school and being in the preschool and experiencing what Karambina has to offer, she is a little powerhouse. Mm -hmm. And that's not just me being a proud mother. It's me noticing things in her that I would have loved as a child mm -hmm. and things that we try to instill in all of the children here. The, the empowerment that she has to speak up for herself, speak up for her friends and for her teachers, um, notice when things are unfair, inequitable, kindness, notice when people are injured and hurt and feeling sad. That's all in her realm and she's very good at noticing that and she acts on that. And so in terms of, of the skills that we teach, not only academic, but, but that kind of global citizen, that kind of empathy, that kind of connection to your society, that's what she's taking advantage of most at the moment. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.